In a stately ceremony in Washington Cathedral, high dignitaries of the Protestant Episcopal Church gather to see the Right Reverend Henry Knox Sherrill installed as presiding bishop. Bishop Sherrill succeeds the Right Reverend Henry St. George Tucker, who is retiring. Bishop Sherrill's family witnessed the elaborate ritual, which brings a throng of important clerical and lay delegates from all parts of the United States. The new presiding bishop will have his seat in the great cathedral, which now for the first time provides the church with an ecclesiastical home. Standing in the center of the chancel, Bishop Sherrill takes the oath. I, Henry Knox, by divine providence, presiding bishop of the Protestant Episcopal Church in the United States of America, duly elected and now to be installed, do solemnly swear that I will observe and to the utmost of my power fulfill the duties, statutes, and customs of the office of presiding bishop, not contrary to divine law. So help me God and the contents of this book. At the end of the ceremonies, Bishop Sherrill blesses the audience and the induction ends. It brings to high office in the Protestant Episcopal Church a valiant enemy of the forces of evil. <laughs>